Tonight at 10 with three top Republican candidates for Michigan governor facing questions about legitimate signatures on their petitions. We're talking about former police chief James Craig, Tudor Dixon and Perry Johnson. Our Mar McDonald is live downtown tonight. Mar having opposing campaigns and parties comb through candidates petitions is politics 101. <laughs> Kimberly, it sure is, as well as looking through the campaign finance reports. This is not unusual, but let's see how it shakes out. The filing deadline for political office has come and gone, and all sorts of busy bees have been combing through the petitions candidates file to run for office looking for errors. It's the easiest way to get someone disqualified. It's an easiest way to get someone off of the ballot. So the fact that people are looking at this, there's, there's nothing surprising there. The Michigan Democratic Party is challenging three GOP gubernatorial candidates, Craig, Johnson and Dixon. Former MDP chair Mark Brewer is handling the Craig challenge. The Craig petitions are the worst set of petitions I've ever seen. And it goes beyond the forgery. I mean, the defects in circulator certificates, in the headings, duplicates, bad lock, bad signatures. I I've never seen such a mess. The Dems aren't the only ones challenging Craig's signatures. A pro Tudor Dixon super PAC is as well. How much of this is performative political theater remains to be seen. Unsurprisingly, the Michigan GOP calls these moves desperate. But signature problems have kicked candidates from the ballot before. All you have to do is look at the signature problems former GOP Congressman Thad McCotter had in 2012. There's an issue with the people that are employed at the level of getting the signatures because they are compensated by the number of signatures they get and they're not worried whether they're valid or not. Back here live, the other issue is these campaigns should theoretically be monitoring these petitions that these signature gatherers are getting. Whether that happened or not is unclear at this point. But also remember, challenges get made to this kind of stuff all the time. These campaigns also have the ability and will respond to these challenges. It's going to be up to the Bureau of Elections at the state level to wade through, do some examining, and see what to do next. If anything, I would be expecting some sort of a decision by the end of May. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Yeah, okay. Mara, thanks. New